Here we have a Micrologix 1500, and here we have a 1769 expansion I.O. module. On the right-hand side, you can see the module label, and you can also see that this module has grooves to allow it to slide on to either the 1500 base or another expansion I.O. module. Here we can also see the bus connector, which can be extended or retracted by using this lever arm on the top of the module. Now to install the module, we simply slide it onto the right hand side of the controller like this. Then we fully engage the bus connector by using the lever arm on the top of the card. You can hear it click when it's in place. Note, it's important to make sure it's fully engaged as the I.O. module won't work if it's not all the way over to the left. Let's take a closer look at how this works because you really want to understand how you have to fully engage this lever arm for the system to work reliably. As far as mounting, you can see here the expansion I.O. module can be DIN rail mounted or panel mounted just like the base. Now with the 1769 expansion I.O. we always have to have an end cap bus terminator. Here I have a right end cap, a 1769 ECR, and I'll show you the other side too, you can see the circuit board. And let's take a look at the bus connector here, it's slightly different than the module. Now to install this, I'm just going to slide it on the right hand side of the module, and then I'm going to push the bus connector all the way in. And now we're done, we've successfully added a 1769 expansion I.O. card to our Micrologix 1500. And that's it for this episode. 